Two years from now, AGI is going to come around the pipeline. You wouldn't be doing what you're, what you're doing now, right? There, there's more pressing questions to resolve. Yes? Wrong. People right now believe that AI should tell them what to do. There are Claude boys, literally teenagers, who call themselves Claude boys, who will wake up and they will do what Claude says and not otherwise. And this, not EA, not existential risk, this is the true challenge that's ahead yes. of us. One of my friends uses ChatGPT for hours every day, not just as a search engine, but as an operating system for his life. He asks it where he should eat, what he should text girls on dating apps. He gets up every day and has ChatGPT tell him what to do. My friend does this not because he's incompetent or stupid, he's one of the smartest people I know, but because ChatGPT already knows so much about him that the advice is actually getting quite good. The restaurants that it recommend, for example, are already better than the ones that he can find for himself. My friend is not alone. Gen Z, Gen Alpha are increasingly using AI as a holistic operating system to which they offload all of their decisions onto. And Brendan McCord argues that this kind of offloading is the real danger of AI that no one is talking about. In this interview, you'll learn why human autonomy is important, how AI threatens it, and how to harness the power of AI without forming an unhealthy dependency. My name is Jonathan B.